Good morning, everyone. Our opening song will be See Us, Lord, About Your Altar. See us, Lord, about your altar, though so many we are one. Many souls by love united in the heart of Christ, your Son. Hear our prayers, O loving Father, hear in them your Son, our Lord. Hear him speak our love and worship as we sing with one accord. Once were seen the blood and water, now are seen but bread and wine. Once in human form he suffered, now his form is but a sign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Giacomo Grassi, Basilio Pompetti, Bill Rapko, and Ann Kelly, and those in our Book of Life. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray, O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation and nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then the voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, Go, and take the scroll that is open in the hand of the angel, who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the little scroll, and said, he said to me, Take it and eat it. It will be bitter to your stomach, but sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it. It was sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. Then the angel said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples and nations and languages and kings. The word of the Lord. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I delight in the way of your decrees as much as in all riches. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. With open mouth I pant because I long for your commandments. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there, and he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do, 
for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. What's important to understand in today's Gospel is that Jesus teaches with authority. There's a difference between somebody who speaks and somebody who speaks with authority. For instance, when I would try to get my brothers to do something, they were reluctant because I'm just their brother. But when mom asked them to do something, they had better do it quickly or there would be a consequence. <laughs> right? So there's a difference between somebody who speaks and someone who has authority. Though I told them that I had authority over them as the older brother, they were reluctant. But when mom speaks, we listen. And that's the way it should be. And sometimes that's not the way it was, but you get the point. When Jesus is speaking, Jesus is able to identify problems within the culture at that time because he's not only speaking truth, but he speaks the truth with authority. So when he's talking about turning a house of prayer into a den of robbers and thieves, we have to understand that the temple was not only like this, the place of worship, but in the foyer outside, there would be the marketplaces, etc. And the focus of the people at that time was so much on the external and very little on the internal. Sadly, that's often the case in our lives too, isn't it? We can be become so preoccupied with the external that we focus very little on the internal. And yet Jesus is wanting our souls and our bodies to remain temples of the Holy Spirit, that we are to engage in daily prayer, that we are to conduct ourselves in ways that are holy and pleasing to God, so that we too can remain, as the day of our baptism, holy and blameless in the sight of God. It is important also for us to identify that Jesus is preparing to be arrested and, of course, give up his life on the cross for us. These readings at the end of our liturgical year in these final two weeks talk about the coming of God. That's why we read from Revelation. And we continue to see this idea of how the word of God is not something that is just to make us feel good all the time. The word of God is always good because it is true. But sometimes it's quite challenging and difficult to follow the commandments and teachings of God. Thereby our stomach may feel a little bit bitter and yet we never regret it because it is sweet to the taste. The more we reflect on doing what is good and following the commandments of Jesus, we never regret it. Even if the good guy finishes last here on earth, earth does not have the final say. Heaven is the final say as God is so merciful to us that he will open the gates of heaven. So friends, let us look to our own bodies to our own souls. How much care and focus am I doing on my soul? When's the last time I went to reconciliation? What a beautiful opportunity tomorrow to go. When's the last time I stopped my crazy busy life and spent good quality time with God? Let's seize the opportunity of today and focus on the internal. Let us pray. As we approach the throne of the Father and offer to him our prayers, we are confident that God always listens. And so with great confidence we pray. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis. May the Lord guide and sustain him in all he does, we pray. Let us pray for lawmakers. May God bless them with fortitude in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of all human life. From conception through natural death, we pray. Let us pray for all who mourn the loss of a loved one. May the Lord fill them with his presence and console them, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, for researchers to find a vaccine, and for all who have died as a result of their virus and the families left behind, 
that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Giacomo, Basilio, Bill, Anne, and those in our Book of Life. May they rest in the peace of the Father's embrace, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, Merciful Father, accept the prayers of our hearts and answer them according to your great mercy. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed humanity in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made, and forever to praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Giacomo, Basilio, Bill, and Anne, and those in our book of life whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Paul, Saint John, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, 
may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Friends, as you leave the parking lot today, please be cautious of the construction. Thank you. Wheat and grape contain the meaning Food and drink he is to all One in him we kneel adoring Gathered by his loving call Hear us yet so much is needed In our frail disordered life Stay with us and tend our weakness Till that day of no more strife. Members of his mystic body, Now we know our prayer is heard, Heard by you because your children Have received the eternal word. Have a good day. God bless you.